The DJI Neo 2, though yet to receive an official launch, is already making waves within the drone community. Building on the success of the original DJI Neo, which was appreciated for its portability and simplicity, the upcoming Neo 2 is expected to introduce a wide range of upgrades that could position it as a powerful tool for creators, hobbyists, and even professionals looking for an ultra-portable aerial solution. Leaked specifications and early rumors suggest that this drone could see significant improvements in areas like camera performance, flight time, obstacle avoidance, and design functionality. One of the defining characteristics of the original DJI NEO was its incredibly lightweight construction. Weighing in at just 135 grams, the NEO was one of the most travel-friendly drones DJI had ever made. Its palm-sized design made it highly appealing for casual users who valued convenience above all else. The NEO was easy to carry, intuitive to operate, and ideal for travel vlogging, lifestyle content, and quick aerial shots. For the NEO 2, DJI is rumored to keep the spirit of portability alive but add new features that significantly improve usability. Most notably, the drone is expected to include a foldable design, a long-requested feature that would make it even more compact when stored in a backpack or pocket. Foldable arms would align the NEO 2 with the design direction seen in DJI's mini-series, giving users a better travel experience without compromising flight stability. Another important improvement expected in the NEO 2 is the reduction of flight noise. One of the few downsides of the original NEO was its slightly high-pitched propeller sound. The NEO 2 could potentially feature redesigned low-noise propellers and motors, offering quieter operation during filming and making it more suitable for use in crowded or quiet environments like weddings, nature reserves, or urban areas. The camera was one of the standout features of the original NEO. It sported a half-inch CMOS sensor capable of capturing 12MP stills and 4K video at 30fps. This was more than sufficient for social media content and casual travel vlogs, but users seeking greater image quality had to look toward more expensive drones like the Mini 3 Pro or Air 3. That gap may shrink with the Neo 2, which is rumored to come with a 1-inch image sensor, a massive upgrade for such a lightweight and small drone. A larger sensor allows for better dynamic range, improved low-light capability, and more detailed imagery. Expectations are that the Neo 2 could capture 20MP stills and record 5.4K video, with 4K footage at up to 60fps. Such improvements would put the Neo 2 in competition with higher tier models while retaining its smaller footprint. Better low-light performance would be especially useful for creators who film during sunset, in urban nighttime scenes, or in shadow-rich environments like forests and mountains. Vertical shooting could also be introduced, allowing native vertical video capture for social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. This would eliminate the need for cropping landscape footage in post-production, ensuring optimal image quality for mobile viewing. Battery life is another area where users are expecting a major leap. The original DJI NEO offered about 18 minutes of flight time, which was decent for casual use but often limited extended shoots or cinematic flights. The NEO 2 is rumored to offer a flight time of up to 40 minutes, thanks to either a higher capacity battery or improved power management systems. In addition, the top flight speed could reportedly reach 60 miles per hour. That's a dramatic increase over the first NEO, which was relatively slow. Such speed enhancements would open the door to more dynamic tracking shots, better wind resistance, and expanded use in action filming. If true, these figures would allow the NEO 2 to fly in stronger wind conditions without compromising stability, making it far more reliable in varied weather. Another expected improvement is the introduction of GPS-assisted precision hovering, offering even greater stability during still video shots and time lapses. One of the biggest limitations of the original NEO was the absence of advanced obstacle avoidance sensors. While it did support basic AI subject tracking, flying the drone manually in tight spaces or wooded areas always posed a risk. In the NEO 2, DJI is expected to solve this issue by integrating omnidirectional obstacle avoidance sensors. This likely includes front, rear, bottom, and possibly lateral sensors that can detect and avoid trees, walls, people, or vehicles in real time. A safer flying experience is essential not only for new users but also for professionals who fly close to subjects for dramatic shots. The improved hardware could be paired with Active Track 5.0, DJI's latest and most advanced subject tracking system, first seen in the Air 3 and Mini 4 Pro. This would allow the Neo 2 to lock onto fast-moving subjects, circle them dynamically, or even perform complex tracking patterns, perfect for sports filming, outdoor exploration, or wildlife documentation. 
The first DJI Neo supported multiple control modes, including gesture commands, smartphone app control, and a standard remote. While this made the drone versatile and beginner-friendly, more experienced users wanted a more tactile and immersive experience. For the Neo 2, DJI is rumored to be introducing a new remote controller with a built-in touchscreen display, similar to the RC N2 or DJI RC found in other recent models. This would eliminate the need to attach a smartphone during flights, speeding up deployment time and reducing reliance on third-party devices. In terms of connectivity, the Neo 2 could offer support for Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.3, ensuring better signal strength and range. These enhancements would provide more responsive control, quicker video transmission, and smoother app performance, even in crowded areas with lots of signal interference. The inclusion of OcuSync 4.0 or improved transmission tech might also be in the pipeline, allowing for 1080p live view at longer ranges, potentially up to 12 kilometers, depending on local regulations. Another underrated feature of the original Neo was its 22GB of internal storage, which allowed users to record footage without needing an SD card. The Neo 2 is likely to retain or expand this internal capacity, possibly increasing it to 32 or 64 gigabytes, while continuing to support micro SD cards up to 512 gigabytes. DJI's quick shot modes are also expected to return with enhancements. These include automated cinematic maneuvers like Droney, Circle, Rocket, and Boomerang. Advanced options like Master Shots or Hyperlapse may also be introduced, depending on the processing capabilities of the drone. AI post-processing and in-app editing tools are likely to be refined, providing users with auto-edited clips, music synchronization, and intelligent framing right after landing the drone. As of now, there's no official pricing for the DJI Neo 2. However, given the upgraded features, the drone could land somewhere between $499 and $699 US dollars, placing it above the original Neo but below the Mini 4 Pro. This would make the Neo 2 a middle ground option, offering more than just entry-level specs without the price tag of DJI's prosumer drones. It's a sweet spot for hobbyists, vloggers, and travelers who want quality footage without bulk or complexity. In terms of release, speculation points toward a mid to late 2025 launch, possibly announced in the summer alongside DJI's rumored Flip or Air series refresh. DJI typically unveils its smaller consumer drones ahead of holiday seasons, so a Q3 release would make strategic sense. The DJI Neo 2 is shaping up to be much more than a simple refresh. If even half of the rumored features turn out to be true, we're looking at one of the most powerful ultralight drones DJI has ever produced. By combining a 1-inch sensor, longer flight time, advanced tracking, and omnidirectional obstacle avoidance in a foldable body, DJI is aiming to blur the line between entry-level and professional-grade drones. For casual creators, social media influencers, and travelers who value mobility without sacrificing image quality, the Neo 2 could be the perfect companion. And for drone enthusiasts looking for a secondary, always-in-your-bag flyer, it might just be the most feature-rich compact drone on the market. As always, we'll have to wait for DJI's official unveiling to confirm these specs. But one thing's clear, the DJI Neo 2 has the potential to be a game-changer in the microdrone segment.